Okay. <clears throat> See if I'm up and running. This is Desert Creek Honey, an artisan honey maker on Amazon. This is the owner Blake with his eight million co-workers. This is how they get their honey. This is how many times Blake's been stung. Yeah, I lost count a long time ago. This is Blake walking like a boss, because he is a boss of his own business. This is everything that goes into every box from Blake's Desert Creek Honey on Amazon. See if I'm up and running. This is Desert Creek Honey, an artisan honey maker. <laughs> and I'm hearing the Twitch ad that ran a minute ago. How exciting. All right, I got to mute this. All right. I'm hopping on to do something with uh, Monsieur Vinegar. So when he gets in, we'll get going on that. But I'm going to fart around for a minute, so. Y'all can just wait. Play my own crap for a minute here. <clears throat> and when he shows up, we'll get into it. And we'll see how long Twitch decides to go until it tells me to uh, shove it. Because it does tend to do that occasionally. <laughs> oh, stay in the fairway. And it does. Amazing. Hey, is that him? Let me see. Nope, it's me. I saw one viewer and I thought, oh, maybe that's Matt. And I looked and it was me. Watching my own crapula. <clears throat> but hey, if you're not going to watch your own stuff, who's, who's going to watch it, right? Well, like I said, in the meantime, I'll just play for a minute. Hmm. Oh, oh, maybe he's here. It says two people are watching, but I can't see who it is. It says he's watching Quell Italiano. Don't be watching Quell Italiano. <clears throat> I don't know who else is watching. Be watching Italiano. But Matt, when you get in here, say hey. Hmm. <laughs> that is not a good wind for this hole at all. I'm gonna whisper that dude on on uh, Twitch. Let's see if he shows up now. Ooh. Did I 
pull it too much? Is it going to come back? Yes, it is. Hey, he saw that I was here. What do you know? <clears throat> oh. A sneaky little bugger. No, I just didn't change the title of the stream. I can I can change it if I want to, but I may just leave it because I don't care. I think that's appropriate. Double checking who all is here. It says you're here, now it says you're not. I don't know. Here, let me get out of this dumb, stupid course. <clears throat> now let's just start and see if we can figure out what we are talking about to one another. We'll call this... Record course, dope. Now, I think yours was specifically Highlands that you're working in right now, so I'm going to flip over there. And I don't know where you generally set your stuff, so I'm just going to set this in the middle. We'll get a plot going really fast here. I'm going to turn all the trees and crap off, because none of that matters for what we're doing right now. And I think when you see what I'm talking about, you'll be like, oh, that's too much work. Or, you know, oh, that's what you were talking about, which is fine. And I'm probably going to turn switch on on my phone because it's easier to watch there than it is to try and <clears throat> alt tab between everything. Give me a second, let me do that. That way I can see what you're saying without... Wearing out my keyboard and making myself ill. Okay. There, now I can at least see the chat here. 10 to 30 for hills? Okay. Well, eh. It moves too fast, it does. That's great. Did I get those? I did. Let's just continue. <clears throat> Alright. So now I should be able to see the chat on my phone. Except I think it's way behind. It's like, you know me too well. Hang on. No... I don't want to continue watching. I want to watch from right here, right now. Stupid. Hang on. I'm just trying to find an easier way to see what you're saying. You know what? I'll just I'll just keep all tabbing. That's fine. So tell me before I do anything from here. <clears throat> when you do your macro sculpting, are you using red or blue brushes? <laughs> Edinburgh blue perfect good don't don't mess with the red ones they're stupid no 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 but here's what I think is a problem let's um, let's just do this I'm gonna use rays of course we should all have oh hang on I gotta respond to my mother-in-law really fast on a text and yeah, we've Sorry, my children were <coughs> crying because my mother-in-law stopped by for half a second to drop something off and then quickly ran away. So, was, why didn't Grandma stay? Oh, no, I love my in-laws. They're great. Um, let's get some beachness going just to do it. Oh. Da -da 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 And we obviously didn't go low enough over here, so whatever. We'll get some inlet action. This is probably a little much over here. Because now we're not talking beaches, now we're talking... ...other things. 
<laughs> Who's the rookie dude? <laughs> you shut up. I choose to ignore the fact that I didn't change the title and make you guys just live with it. Is that quite all right with you? I think it should be, right? Make this come all the way in here. Now you got to tell me though, what kind of macro sculpting are you doing? Are you doing a lot of uh, raising and lowering with jagged edge brushes? Are you trying to use soft brushes? Are you trying to accomplish certain things like make hills? Or do you do a lot of macro sculpting for your plot just with holes in mind? Like are you creating a, a piece of land or are you creating... Um, um, a setting, or are you just saying, here's where hole one will be, here's where hole two will be? Read Masterclass. No, this is addressing a very specific issue, buddy. But if you want to consider it that, I guess, you know, more power to you. Okay, so you're doing what I'm doing now, using oval stuff and that. Okay, that's fine. Well, so, so far, you're not doing anything wonky. I guess one thing that I was thinking might be what you were talking about before is if you are using any kind of brushes like this that that are... Uh, see, this brush, because it's clear in the middle, is taking the internal structure and just moving it up. You know what I mean? Whereas using... Um, this kind of brush, you are actually modifying the underlying mesh of everything in that circle, as opposed to just the uh, just the outside. So as long as you're using something that's you know got some color throughout and isn't you know clear just in the middle, you are modifying the inner mesh a little bit already, which is already going to put you ahead of the game. If you're ever trying to put a hole down on an area that you have not touched that you're you're automatically going to run into that issue where the underlying mesh is just too wide it's not fine enough so when you put a texture down it's going to get all it's going to get all sideways on you here let's put uh might be too high though fact and I'm not really going to do anything with this. This is just to kind of go with the flow of what you were asking about. Always a filled circle or oval. Yep, that is the correct way to start things off then. So you're doing okay there. I guess one thing we could do if we want to get silly is do a, like a shelf. Well, it didn't quite work the way I wanted, but it's fine anyway. I like it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. That's probably good enough for now for what we're trying to accomplish, but I'm probably still going to do one more thing anyway just because it hurts my feelings not to. I'll be right here. Anyway. Not enough. Not enough. A little more. All right, good enough. So let's just find where you would want to put a hole. Let's say... We could go right along this edge if we wanted to. I don't know if we've got enough space, though. That's not a very long path. Give me just a second. I gotta find a place. Maybe. Maybe. 
Maybe. Hang on. All right, I'm going to have to do some work, but that's okay. Oh, I know it doesn't have to be on the water, but I, I can, I can, I can see, I can see a direction for a golf hole here. I don't know if you can. Can you see it? I'm waiting for your response here. Okay, good. As long as we both can see what <laughs> what we're doing here. Now, I do not just go in and start, you know, basically if I were to come in here and uh, go to raise and say, okay, you know, I don't mind having an uphill shot. That's fine. Um, I'm kind of thinking we're going to come, we're, we're going to have fairway here, but it's going to come up over around this way. Now this is not exactly what I do, but I'm just showing you. If you come in here and start just doing raises and lowerings and whatnot, I still don't think that we're going to get... Like, do you do any more... <laughs> I know you're not blind, but not everybody sees things the same way. Um, do you do a lot of sculpting to the land before you start texturing or do you just go okay I'm gonna put my fairway here and then I'm gonna make it look the way I want <laughs> and if that's an odd question that'd be it. not really all right well I think that's the issue I prepare the land that I'm going to put fairway in or put the whole hole in really and I use flatten a lot because I think people get the idea that if you use flatten it's going to make everything flat and that's not exactly how this tool works especially when you're using the softer brushes um, number one it's going to find a median height it's not going to flatten to um, wherever the center of the brush is um, that's not how it works it, it flattens to the medium median height around the uh, the area there and if you want to keep some of those micro things in the center you certainly can do that too yeah, see, I think that's the issue, is you want to do a little of your sculpting ahead of time. You want to have an idea. And one reason I like to do that, too, is because I still find that if I put fairway down, before I do any of this, I will miss things. Um, if you do a little of this preparation ahead of time, occasionally you'll, you'll do a little move and you'll go, oh, hey, that made a neat little knob. Uh, I'd like to include that in the fairway and have it maybe move the ball um, right uh, left to right in this case and I will do some macro again too because you have to understand when I find a hole I know I say that all the time you find a hole well you do but you typically don't find a finished hole you find a hole that's available and a hole that could be cool like this I'm already thinking down here you could have some beachy stuff but you're driving up over the edge of it you could have a big dune here if you wanted to um, You find it, but then you kind of tweak it as you go, and hopefully you find happy little <clears throat> Bob Ross type accidents as you do it. And if we're thinking of that as a landing space, where do we want the ball to go? Do we want it to run down here? Do we want it to push over here? Do we want to just stop the fairway and have a split fairway? Um, because you could pick up fairway again over here and come back down. To a green area there you could have this fill in water or even being a be a, a beach or rocky beach area and have like a knob or a or a uh, dune of some sort here separating them if you wanted to when do we beat the devil out of the mesh well we kind of just did i mean we we have uh, we have already modified it when we did that Underneath here, like if, if I could go under the land, 
what you'd see when you look up, and, and you probably already know this, but maybe some people don't, what you'd see if you looked up through the mesh is you would see a bunch of little what are called vertices, which are points where triangles come together um, that allow the 3D movement of the land. What we had before, like over here, is we've got very large triangles. Like, this looks smooth on top, but that's because there's some uh, processing done on it after the fact. But underneath, there would probably only be, you know, three or four big triangles making up that whole mound here. What we've done over here is we've caused it instead to make this triangle up of, you know, maybe 100 triangles or 200 triangles. So when we put down a spline... <clears throat> In essence, when when the spline goes down, it it puts a finer mesh around it automatically, which is why you get some of that fairway flattening that occurs uh, that people don't like. Um, like here, let's just do this. And this is probably not going to be exactly what I would want the fairway to do, but you know what? That's fine. I'm not going to sweat it too much. Uh, how far up would you take? Now, look, here we do have some deformation here because the, these areas we didn't hit really very much with our smoothing. But up here where we did, um, this hump here in the middle I'm not really concerned about. But you remember we didn't really smooth here either. But over where we did, we've got a lot less deformation. See, we didn't even touch that. So what you could do is you could, uh, because I wouldn't have done that just yet. I probably would have kept smoothing. So I'm going to do it the way I would do it from here on out. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, this is true. Tanaka is correct. The more points, the better in 19 because they changed the way, uh, I forget how Paul said it, they changed the way the splines interact with one another. Um, in two, you really wanted to have fewer. Um, but now the pathing is different. I will say that I do occasionally go in after I put all those points in and um, I, I spline or do whatever and remove points that are causing problems. Like here, if I wanted to make, if I wanted to make it s smoother while still having the, uh, the same structure of land that I had before, I would again just use flatten and come in here. I think now when I lay the fairway in, it'll be It'll be less uh, wavy still on the edges. Well, let's do that. I, don't, I didn't quite like the way it went last time, so. I think I'll include that hump. Why? I don't know. And I'll also say, too, don't marry yourself to your splines. I mean, they're great. Hooray. I love them. But uh, I will very, very often come back and use uh, shapes to uh, augment what's been put down. And just to do it, I'm going to do it just so I know what it looks like. Now before you do anything else. Oh, what is the deal? Oh, I haven't made a hole. <laughs> I didn't create a hole. I saw the uh, I saw the the measuring thing and I didn't even do it. I'm sorry. I would 100% have created a hole before doing that. So, I apologize. That was stupid. Like, why can't I play this? Uh, bang, bang, bang. Uh, not what I want. There we go. Go away, rough. 
go way heavy rough. But I would absolutely play the hole first because you can see, I mean, we're going to need to still do some texture, some uh, work on that. But imagine you had all, you know, beachy area down here. Now you've got to come up here. There is some, um, you know, there's some roly poliness. So you're not done sculpting, obviously. Now, did I get rid of a lot of that natural bumpiness? Yes, I did. Um, but honestly, when you put the fairway in, that's going to go away anyway. Um, I know, man, and, but that's just, I don't know if it's familiarity or, or what it is. But uh, let's say, I mean, this could be a cool hole already. You're going to have to change a lot of things visually to make it really pop, but that's okay. I'm not doing this for any reason other than this stream. Um, but I would come in after the fact and, you know what, let's use this one. If you wanted to add that more natural lumpiness, you certainly could do that here. Why can't we set rough to zero for, yeah, I know, it's stupid. I did ask Paul about that once and he totally agreed, uh, but said, hey, I can only... I can only fight for so many things at one time, which I understand. Like if we wanted to make this visually work, we'd have to take a lot of this here lower, which is fine anyway, and probably make a visual path to the second fairway area. You don't actually have to put fairway there, but visually so people can see where it is and where it's going. Yeah, like that. But then I tend to pick uh, points where there would be natural movement here, like coming off this hill. Let's see. and just trace it to where it would naturally end. Yeah, you can see we didn't hit this area very much with our flatten earlier. So it's got all those little edges on it. So you're never immune from them. But we didn't hit that on purpose because we kind of wanted to leave that edge a little jaggedy anyway. Can't get a natural looking step down here. Yeah, like that. May I say too, this tends to drive people crazy how to make a, a smooth transition like that. It's because you have to, you can't just leave it the same height. You've got to really just eyeball it on the way down and say, okay, here's where it's going to end up. And that just takes time, I think. Yeah, you have to prepare ahead of time. And then, um, like I said, if you want to add bumpiness, you know, I've seen guys use these before. I can't say I've ever really used them. And I think that it adds almost like a little, it can be a little too, I don't know. I mean, do you see that in nature? Yes. But would you see it up here on a hill? No, you'd see it down, you know, low, but I don't think you'd see it right there. Um, this you might run into a little bit, but probably not a foot, more like in there. And that'll give you some of your natural, just little bumpiness back. But I tend to just add it myself. Um, and if you want to use something that's got a little more jaggedness to it, Where'd it go? There it is. This little guy is my favorite. <laughs> I like that. Artificial, says Terry. Artificial. Which was artificial? I wasn't paying attention to when that was said. What up? Cats here. 
and then down here you've got options and sorry just since i'm streaming if anybody wants to see you may as well because i think we've accomplished what you wanted to accomplish which is really just just preparing a little more ahead of time um, will accomplish most of what you're looking to accomplish hey emmeline how are you that's my new five-year-old here no, honey, she she just saw my text message. She's not coming right now, baby. Because she's at home now. But listen, listen, maybe later we can go see her, okay? Would that be fun to go over there? Well, today is, later is today. I didn't say tomorrow, did I? No? Well, good. You guys like my kid? Isn't she cute? Cool. Later today. Yes, probably later today, but I'll have to check with her first, okay? Because we can't just show up. We have to ask, all right? Okay, you go ahead and turn on the light. Push it. Now you've got to turn it, because... Ah, that first brush made the terrain not look like it was meant to be, was what I was referring to. Yes, this is correct. I know she just wants to see Grandma. She'll get over it. Maybe I want to see Grandma. Maybe I want to drop him off at Grandma's and go to a movie. Everything about that? No, yeah. you don't. You guys don't care. Yeah, you like it that way, don't you? Drop you off at Grammy's. <laughs> well, I'll tell Grandma it was your idea. No, no. I go to the movies and you go to Grandma's. Yeah. By myself with no children. Yeah. It, well, maybe it's an idea for me. Okay. She knows who's important, guys. She knows how this all works. She has all the answers. And all the questions, surprisingly. You would think that you would have one or the other. But in essence, she has both. Anyway, if we're making a hole, we may as well see. That would turn out here. I tend to get a little fidgety from this point forward. Grandma has all the sugar. She does. She's she is uh, she has all of it. Here, I'm going to show you guys something um, that some of you probably know. Does anybody want to see how the bunkers at Bandit's Ridge were made? <laughs> Yay or nay? <laughs> if not, I'll skip it. Okay. Tanaka does. <laughs> it is not hard. This is your favorite shape right here. Advance edit. And get that sucker looking really stupid like this. And this is really the secret. Uh, let's just come over here for a second. Now you do have to, in your brain, kind of keep track of where you're putting this down a little. But we're already ahead of the game here. I will tell you, Highlands does not respond to this as well as, uh, as um, Oriole or whatever the heck I used, right? And if you want more spaces, just space it out a little more. Or if you need to just throw some sand down, get really crazy. And don't be scared to just dump in something silly. Hey, Emmeline. Hey, Emmeline. It does look like you're cheering for Shopkins. Um, if you run into an edge that's too sharp, what I found is just put the brush down and rotate it while pressing the button. And you'll be able to smooth the edges out a little bit. Boreal? Yes, I absolutely did. Um... Bandit Ridge was Boreal.
And if you feel like you need, uh, here, I'm going to come over here and pretend I'm actually going to use it. Use those bunker ideas over here. Let's do it. That's too jagged there. Yes, he overdid it. Yeah, I don't care. Do whatever you want. There's no copyright in any of this garbage. It's just doing stuff. If you had a PC, I'd just send you a dumb file. But you don't, so... I used to think that having too many of these brushes would be a problem. It really has never shown itself to be, though. So, yeah, it's too busy. Okay, I'm going to join those up. And if you want, you can get really silly. And if you make this small... Oh, what happened? It advanced edited on me. Don't do that. Oh, if you get too small, it... Now that I never knew. Look at this. I advance edit. Okay. Here. But if I just shrink this down, if I start to shrink it, if I get to a certain point, it stops and it just morphs. Ah, I've never seen that before. That's weird. Some people just do stuff better. Well, yeah, I guess. But you can get silly and just do a bunch of these like this and end up with those little... You know, really silly little areas. Or you can get more into the full on beach area here if you want. But anyway, um, once you make them though, then you have to figure out how to make them work. And I will tell you, the biggest part of this is just to not be scared. And um, I I look up, there's one designer that I look up to hugely when it comes to just designing with no fear at all. Anybody want to guess who it is? I've said it to some people, so they probably know. But there's one who just, man, they just design with no fear at all. And it's great. And if anybody said it in chat yet, I haven't looked, so hang on. That's too much in the middle. Energizer has it. It is RJ Wills. That guy, when he, when he decides to make a bunker look a certain way or make an elevation change or whatever, it does not matter. If it's 30 feet in the air or whatever, if that's what looks right... He's just going to make it 30 feet in the air. I mean, that's just, there's just no fear. It really all comes down to, does this accomplish what I want the look to accomplish? And just does it regardless. Uh, I'm going to go this way. Now to get the inside of them right, though. You can't be scared of this too much. You kind of just got to do it. Trust me, this is a several step process usually. And I do not subscribe to the idea of just holding down the button and going because you, you can't see if you need to modify your heights that way. And there are many times when your, your heights are going to have to be modified slightly to get, see, look at this, like I've got a bunch of stuff already that's off.
and if I want to take the whole thing up a little bit. But I think if you do that, you'd have to run the fairway down this way and then have another section of fairway over here. So like split it, but without it being too drastic. Oh, you're going to faint. <laughs> Yeah, see, but it was it's too much because now it's blocking the pin too much, which is fine. I mean, you just would have to rearrange how you want it to look. So instead, of you go, okay, well, it can't. Well, hi, little. My youngest just got up here. She was taking a nap. Good timing. I'm about done doing this, I think. Not because I want to leave you, but just because I think we've accomplished what we set out to initially. Now, how would you do this, though? You could go this way, and then come back. I think that would play better. Let's see. No, that's fine. I know it was. I, I, I know it was a simple thing. It was just, you know, a matter of seeing it instead of hearing words that didn't quite describe it the way you wanted. You know what I mean? So, that's fine. And I'm sorry that was my, my Donald Trump nose breath there. Hope you appreciated that. Should do that. Just pretend like I'm trying to inhale an entire Lilliputian community every time I breathe in. We need border security. They're raping the women. That sounds like he's trying to heat up a furnace or something. Like for uh, blacksmithing. Anyway, it's a cool idea for a hole, but it is what it is. Uh, my under my um, what I heard was um, he was snorting some Adderall or something. Here, I want you guys to look at something really fast. You can help me figure this out. If this makes CSU mad, he can get over it. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, I've got one from him, and I thought I was further along than this, but I wasn't. Um, yeah, this was my initial thing for the the other contest was I was going to do a, a Tot Hill Farms-like course, but I, I couldn't quite pull it off. Uh, but I've got one from CSU that I'm adding another 18 to that we'll publish um, together. Well, you missed Co-Ruler. I had already done some plot work on that. This is CSU's course here. And then... Um, he wanted me to add another 18, but he kind of left me some really weird land. So I counter-rotted the front nine this way, and then was going to have the back nine go around his and come back up, um, like come back up through here. Anyway, but I want to show you guys the first six holes that I had going on. Well, Tanaka, a lot of those are, are either garbage or there was somebody else or there's somebody else's course that I was looking at for him or something like that. But um, these are all just holes that I had going. But I want you guys to see if you think that the idea flies. I'm going to replant most of this anyway. But I'm just going to play these first few holes and see if you guys like the direction I'm going here or not. Because I do, but the style is vastly different from what CSU had going on, and I'll show you in a minute. Um, if it doesn't, I don't think it'd bother him. If it does, he'll just 
tell me to stop. And I'll say, no, I have the file. Ha <laughs> ha! What are you going to do? Yeah, that was kind of the idea, is uh, mine would be more of like an upland course, uh, as opposed to his being a more lowland course, I guess. Big hill. But I like rolly greens, so that's that's what it is. I like that, another 18. Sorry, when I pause, I'm going and reading you guys what you're saying. But I kind of had a planting style going on here that I thought was pretty decent. And you'll see this one backs up to um, one of CSU's holes. It's just over on the other side of those trees. Here, Matt, it's your favorite. Uh, it's your favorite bunkers. There they are, right there and right there. Perfect, right? That's where they all should be. That's where every bunker should be. Oh, that could be good. 95% should be about right. Come back down the hill. Oh, it's going to sit there. The next couple holes are the ones I have more questions about. I liked the first two on here. Ovary bunkers. Yes, indeed. <laughs> this hole I dig. I'll watch the fly over. This is par 5 with a somewhat blind tee shot. If you can't notice, I was starting to play with the ripply fairways when I went into this one. Um, the fairway ends up here and then picks up again to a, a green that goes right to left, kind of away from you, with a runoff in the back. But I liked this tee shot a lot, um, just of how blind it was. I used to have a bunker down at the end of this hill, right there. But I took it out because it bugged me. Um, let's see. It's a short hole, so it's really just a matter of placement. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I figured you'd like the tee shot. I, I thought it was pretty cool. And if you play this right, you can roll down from either direction. You're not going to have a flat lie, though. And for a par 5, I mean, it's short. Oh, it says par 4. I had this playing as a par 5. Um, I don't know. I'll need to change that again. And primarily it's because the approach shot is a pain in the butt. Yeah, see, that's going to go way over. Way over there. Yep. But I like this green, too, because this green has that mound there. But then it pushes it pushes everything down towards this far edge, so you can get there. Uh, go in the hole. Hey, hey yo! Yeah, do it. This this hole I I like, but I. I did something that I don't like a lot of times where you limit the fairway. However, however, it's only limited if you don't have the balls to go for that. So if you have the balls to go for it, go for it. Oh, I'm not going to make it because I swung fast, aren't I? Yep. Well, here, let me, let me do this hole the way it's supposed to be done really fast. The next hole especially, though, I'm just not sold on. So maybe you guys can help tell me if it works or not. I like the style overall that I was going for so far. but See, so you play over to the right, and you've got a better angle in. You just are further back. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Um, the next one I got a little... I redid the tee shot on the next hole probably a hundred times. Not really, but... I'm allowed to use hyperbole because it's my stream. Ha ha ha. 
But here you can see where I was going with it anyway. I just hadn't decided how best to slope this thing. Here I'll go up to the landing area and show you. Because you can get a flat lie, but you've got to be pretty picky about it. Or you can try to get down over that hill. Or you can lay up short over here. Anyway, it's just it's an awkward shot. Which is why I put these tees here and the other tees over to the right. Because from the right, it's a lot easier. But you can see it's kind of awkward. Oh, very fast. That'll work. That's going to go right down into the valley. Hey, Kessler, I will show you a trick on that here in a minute if you want. Something I found anyway with regards to the, the planting. Ooh, that one might hold on. There are many flat lies on Bandit Ridge. The point is finding them and playing to them. I left them there on purpose. This, the whole split here was really just, I don't know. I just liked having the hump, but I didn't like, I didn't like having fairway over here or over here. I seemed to like both, so I left both. Does it work? I don't know. <laughs> Bloody hell. Rebus streaming. There are plenty of flat lies for you to find them. Ah, uh, this next hole is very rough. Yeah, see, I don't even have a T down here. But again, you can play short down into here. You can try and play longer, but now you're dealing with slopes again and the green sits um, at an angle such that there's there's plenty there but usually you're going to be coming at it from the short side put a pot bunker in the mat you know I thought about that uh, Matt I haven't decided yet this hole was pretty simple but I liked I liked the idea of it I need to add a couple of bunkers or or something more to it though it's just oh wow i guess i haven't fixed that green but that's fine fixing the greens is like one of the last things i do anyway eh, hang on nice hole location you like that right there on the side That is sad, buddy. That is sad. This one I literally had just started playing with the shaping of. So this hole, there's, there's nothing to yet at all. I was trying to decide what I wanted to do. Um, I do like where the green is, but that's okay. So I'm just going to hop out of here because that's as far as I'd made it on that one. But anyway, I feel like the first six work together. Um, as far as planting there, let's see. Here, we'll do something here. Twitch is emailing me. Why is Twitch emailing me? Stop emailing me. A renovation? No, this is, um, this is another 18 on a course that CSU gave me. You guys have never played this course. This has not seen the light of day. So you don't know anything about this. If anybody asks, you don't know. Okay? All right. So here, let's do... One thing with planting that's helpful is, uh, and I think I've said this to people in the past, but to plant either... I can say this. Accentuate your planting with your sculpting or accentuate your sculpting with your planting. One of the two. Or both. And by that, I mean plant either below or above the surrounding land. Um, for instance, this little hillock and those kinds of things. But one thing I found is in many themes, 
you don't want to go to your grasses first and go, well, I got to blow up and have these big, huge grasses so people can see them over here. Yes, that's part of it, but you're better off going to the plants tab. Uh, and grabbing one of these bad boys. In this theme, I think this one's probably my favorite. Now, people have preached against multi-planting for a long time. I have discovered that I believe they have fixed a lot of their multi-plant issues. However, I'm going to try something really fast here. I want to see if it works. I, I'm not making this smaller. I'm making it less dense. You guys know the difference. So I'm going to do a couple of the, I'm just going to do one of these and one more here. And I have found something. And that is if you come over here and highlight this and break this cluster apart. Let's see if it works. No, it didn't work on this one. I don't know if it's just the other theme or if it's grasses only or what. Yeah, see, it didn't happen here. But it, the last time I did that with grasses, it, um, it put in like 30 more grasses than, sorry, I got the hiccups, than had been there previously. I'd never seen anything like it. But when I broke the multiple object cluster, it made more grass. Anyway, with multi-plant, I think they've fixed the way that it affects the plant meter. Um, watch the plant meter here when I lay in a couple of these, and you'll see it jump right. Well, here, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but you'll see it jump right and then come back down quite a bit. Oops, what did I do? I don't know what I did. It didn't like whatever I just did. Hey, buddy. What's up? Now watch the plant meter goes up to the right and then comes back down to the left a little bit. Why? I don't know. I think they fixed it. But you could even do this less densely. You know, like so. And not even as many of them. But from the T, having, um, using plants instead of grass, you don't have to be nearly as dense with it. And then what I've noticed, and you, you correct me if I'm wrong, but you go to one of Adam Benjamin's courses, you go to one of Arctic's courses, and what he does next, maybe not what he does next, but what you can do next, is he'll get a grass that he likes. Hey, Alex, would you stop making a pop noise with your mouth there, buddy? Thanks. And he will blow it up. I mean, he'll use Jurassic, but there's a trick where you can hold down and spin while still moving by using two hands here. And he'll go along the edge of his plantings where he uses plants and bushes and he'll just hit the edges of it with this tall grass. And when you do that, it, it gives it a uniform look and it looks very dense when in reality it's not at all. I mean, you can still come in here and give it some of this, but then the other thing is, uh, mm, and sorry, I haven't looked at chat for a minute, so. You can throw in some bushes here. I mean, you, you really can be kind of messy with it as long as you do it in a way that keeps it somewhat natural. And the other thing he likes to do is uh, use these kind of plants because they tend to, they just, they stick out, but they are very thick. So again, things look like they're planted more thickly than they actually are. I don't know that I like that look as much. Like I would use some of those, but I tend to plant with the thought of like plants tend to grow next to each other. Here, then you can take it, some of the trees in here. Here, I want this to be a pine, a little, little pine tree. Anyway, I don't know if that helps. Uh, yeah, I'll be doing a major uh, design. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm thinking more of a stadium type course, more along the lines of, uh, yeah, I will not be saving that, of um, the old Hyperion fields that I did before. What I wish... Oh, here, I want to show you one other thing. See if you guys <clears throat> think this is worth pursuing. <laughs> I'm 
I'm trying to capture the right look for this one. Oh, I, I expected to see somebody go, oh, the rookery. Anyway, but this was made in TGC one. So a lot of the, a lot of the things that worked in one and two don't work as well here or work a little differently. And, um, I have played with this a little bit, but not much. But I think from a looks standpoint, it could work. But I think I would have to expand some fairways and change some runoffs in that here. Oh, see, look, I hit a fast and that sucker's gone. But does anybody think the rookery would actually work? I had to do a lot of work on the bunkers here and that to make it function. Because the TGC-1 bunkers that were in there just didn't, it just didn't fit. Yeah, I know. It's more of a nostalgic thing. People got a kick out of it. And it is super fantasy. But I'll show you up through like hole three just so you can see what I'm talking about. It just doesn't translate quite as well. And this hole I've already done, you know, a lot of work on. Yes, Emmeline. Okay, give me a few minutes and we'll go we'll go get something we'll go get you a snack, okay? And I was playing with some uh, mistiness. Why? I don't know. It seemed like the thing to do at the time. You like that one? I dug that one. That was the first one I did in two. Um just was playing with some ideas of uh the bunkering. And the course kind of just came together. I just want to see how hole three looks really fast because I don't remember. It's been a while. I know this look is really weird, but it seemed to kind of fit. Iceland. Now I'll show you something in a second here. Hey guys, relax. Why don't you guys, where's the baby? Go down there with her, please. I know, just go down for a minute. I'll be there in a minute. Hole three is actually even cooler in 19, though, because this fairway becomes more usable over here. And this one is just like, wow, you've got to be a nutcase to try and go over there. Uh, a great deal of patience was used in the cliff edges. <laughs> That's what I used for the cliff edges. <laughs> I got to admit, it was still a fun, fun track. Get up there. Yeah, okay, I'm done with this. Anyway. It does look cool. You got to admit, it looks, that's kind of a cool mountain thing going on there. And there were a couple of holes that were pretty cool on this course. Uh, 13 was cool. I liked 13. What else? I want to say 8. Yeah, 8 was very cool. I just want to see it really fast. Because if you could carry down to this side over here, you were way ahead of the game. That'll definitely carry. But yeah, I'd have to redo everything on this course. And it's just, it's very, very difficult to get yourself to redo stuff. I don't know when you guys redo your stuff, but it's, it's hard. But here, I got to show you what's going on with Iceland. Because, yes, giant nipple, correct. Uh, there it is. It's here. I just cannot get the plant meter to obey. Um, I'll show you. I came in here and I deleted a lot of what I had used in the waterfall area. I deleted a bunch of these waterfalls here. I deleted um, 
a lot of the splashes that were causing the uh, smoke. I deleted all the trees that were up here are gone. Um, I took out, there was a farm here, it's gone. Um, I took off, I, I had had uh, uh, shrubbery covering this house, like, you know, a home in Iceland. Um, and I, I took all of that off. What else? I took out a lot of the trees that were back here that you didn't really see. Um, and I'm still just, Emmeline, what? Your unicorn is hungry? What do unicorns eat, baby? Here, let's delete this. And this is what's so frustrating. Every time you delete an object, this is what you get. Every single time. Okay, well, go feed her. And you can see I still have all these trees that are buried down the ground. And there's no easy way to select them. You can't do a, a mass selection. So you have to go one by one by one by one all the way through. Um, and the reason I'm hesitant to get rid of this is because the name itself translates to Unique Waterfall Golf Club. I actually got rid of a lot of the brush that was down in here. Uh, I got rid of most of the trees that were up here. I got rid of part of a rock formation. Um, let me... Now we got to see... It's been a while since I've touched this. Yeah, there's a forest buried under the ground here. But... When you delete them, what does it do to the land? And see, in 19, it doesn't have as much of an effect. So, I mean, you can get away with a lot of it. Um, ah, yes, I know. Yes, I know. Like, literally, you cannot select a T without it yelling at you. Oh, that wasn't the hole I wanted to play. Because it plays great. I've played it. It plays just fine. But here, watch. I switch to green. Too many. Too many. And it just yells and yells and yells and yells and yells. It doesn't look quite as good because a lot of the underground planting doesn't have the same effect that it did in, uh, in 2. But the lighting difference actually makes up for a lot of it. And it plays, it plays better. It plays better in this game than it did in 2, in my opinion. Um, I've played it many times. Just because I want to. Yeah, it's not going to make it. I just can't seem to get the thing under the file size limit. I'll keep playing with it. Yeah, I know you would. And I'll, I'll probably do some more. But I, I have spent probably one of the first things I did. Yeah, I know what you'd do with it, too. You'd come over here and you'd, you'd switch this to go over here and make that go over there. And Yeah, I know what you'd do with it. I'll get rid of your forest and reroute three holes, <laughs> which is fine. Oh, by the way, hang on. I want to see if I remember correctly. I think this hole plays more fun, too. And you should know why. Because we've got a little extra distance now. And so this hole becomes a completely different ball game. Ah, not going to make it. I will say, I don't, I don't know if I like or dislike what it did to the bunker edges. Um, because it did modify them a little bit. But I think all I know is I've reached the green in this one more often. I may have to move it a little bit, but it, it did make hole four more fun. Uh, the draw distance is a little better, so maybe what I could do is 
maybe cut some of this out and get rid of about half of the waterfalls and instead have the second falls just be higher. You know what I mean? Like that might be an option as well. You'll notice I also had to modify a lot of the land down here. You'll remember it had a different look to it. Um, the textures just don't play the same way in this game that they did in the last one. So it doesn't look the same way no matter what I do. Um, but the course plays great. I just can't seem to get it to work properly. Um, I don't know. What else? Since I'm sitting here, that's, that would be fun to look at for a second. There may be nothing. I may just go, but we'll see. This was another one of CSUs I was going to redo for him. This is another of CSUs that you guys haven't seen that I don't know he's ever going to publish. <laughs> uh, did I publish Warrior Ridge in 19? I don't think I did, did I? Do you guys know if that one's out there? I don't think it is. Yeah, I'm going to bring it across. I, I'll have to play with the waterfalls a little bit. I don't want it to look too stupid. Oh, yeah, I think I ran into an object limit on this one, too. Because this one... No? No, this one's fine. I wonder why I haven't brought this over. Oh, I know why. The cart paths. I think the cart paths in this one were my main issue. Because I came in and started to fix them, and it just was becoming a huge, huge problem. But this one was actually a remake of a desert course in the first place. But I like this one. I'll have to figure out how to get this one over, too. Because I like that one. Anyway. Yeah, I'll rip out the cart paths so I can have people tell me, you know, how many, how much cart paths are required for, uh, you know, contests. I'm just kidding. Nobody said that. But I did like this course. I thought it played pretty well. Yeah, baby. Yes, you are right. Kids can bring stuff if they want. What else did I have here that was new? I brought some ice stuff that I'm going to bring up us. That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, most of those are other people's things. But I think I kind of showed you what I was uh, talking about there at the beginning. And who knows, maybe a few other things you guys picked up. It's fine. I try to watch other people and I pick up things from them sometimes too. Um, except Eric. Eric, I get nothing from you. You are a drag. So stop acting that way. Straighten up. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here and take care of my kiddos. But um, I am going to do streams of a couple of the contest courses that have asked me to do it after it's done. Uh, Petties is one of them especially. And I will tell you that that is one. <laughs> I love you too, Eric. Um, where would you have it for the next contest? Okay. But Petty wanted me to go through his. And I will tell you that's one that I, I will spend a little time on just because... It's one of the ones that I've seen that are just, man, there's just potential that's being missed. There are, there are opportunities almost on every hole where you go, you could just go a little more over here or a little bit over there and it would change this hole from being good to being a really great golf hole. Like one where after you played it, you didn't remember the rocks, you remembered that particular golf hole. Um, a couple of them are like that, but more of them should be. Um, and there are a couple other courses that were the same way for me anyway. Just just little things being missed. Um, and I'm sure I missed some things on mine too. I'm just waiting. I told Matt, I'm just waiting for him to tear my routing apart. And that's totally fine. Rip it to shreds. Uh, it'll be fun. I, I learn when he does that. So that's good. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, I am ending. Goodbye. <laughs>